All right, so the next lesson we're going to do is chapter one, uh, lesson three, and this is rates. So here it says use your glossary, which starts on page GL1, to complete the definitions of the vocabulary words in the table. So letter, uh, the first one says a fraction. A fraction is what? A number that represents part of a whole, where's hold down here, whole, or part of a set. Very good. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. Very good. A rate is a ratio comparing two quantities with different kinds of units. And a unit rate is a rate that is simplified so that it has a denominator of 1. Very good. And here, you guys, you see examples of each one of those vocabulary words. Okay? So for this first example, we are going to find a unit rate. We are going to find a unit rate. And of course, you already wrote down these definitions, so you don't have to write them again. A rate is a ratio comparing two quantities of different kinds of units. Um, a unit rate is simplified to have a denominator of one unit when the rate is written as a fraction. So here, you guys, um, these are some examples. This is an example of a ratio 15 to 5. Okay? If um, it's written with units that are different from each other, for example, 15 characters in 5 seconds, characters in seconds, those are different units. Okay? So that's a called a rate. And then if we simplify the rate to have a denominator of 1, that's called a unit rate. Remember, this, on these examples, you just have to watch and pay attention and listen, okay? So Samantha picked 45 oranges in 5 minutes. 45 oranges in 5 minutes. If we want to write this rate as a unit rate, the first thing we want to do is we want to write it as a fraction. So that's going to be 45 oranges in the numerator and 5 minutes in the denominator. So then we're going to simplify it to make it a unit rate. Okay, so the first one is a rate. When we simplify it to a denominator of 1, it becomes a unit rate. So we simplify and we end up with 9 oranges in 1 minute. For example 2, it says, an Australian dragonfly can travel 18 miles in 30 minutes. How far can the dragonfly uh, travel in one minute. So again, we're going to change this to a, uh, a rate, to a fraction. So it's going to be 18 miles in the numerator and 30 minutes in the denominator. So now we want to know how, can, how far can the dragonfly fly in one minute. Right. Normally, <laughs> you want the denominator to be one when they say how far can the dragonfly fly in one minute, right? But here, when we simplify this, um, we have to uh, divide by 6 in the numerator and the denominator. And when we do that, we can see that the dragonfly can fly 3 miles in 5 minutes. So now, if I want to change this to 1 minute, then I would be dividing 3 divided by 5, right? Is everybody with me on that? So here, when we get our final answer there, 3 divided by 5, all you can do, I mean, what you're going to do is you're just going to leave that as a fraction, okay? So 3 fifths of a mile in one minute. All right, so Amma downloaded 35 songs in five minutes. That's the impart, important information, right? 35 songs in five minutes. How many songs did she download per minute. Of course, that's going to be per one minute, right? So, we're going to write down our first rate. We're going to write down 35 songs. And with the um, rates, you have to make sure that you are labeling, okay? 35 songs. 
in five minutes. 35 songs in five minutes. And then, what can I, um, how am I going to change this denominator to a one? Divide by five. Very good. So we're going to divide by five up there. And we're going to divide by five down here in the denominator. So when we simplify, we end up with, very good, seven songs in one minute. Example B. So here it says, Jonathan is baking several loaves of bread to sell in his bakery. He used nine cups of water and 12 cups of whole wheat flour, right? So it's water to flour. So it's nine cups of water to 12 cups of flour. Is everybody with me? Then when I simplify, dividing by three, I get three cups of water for four cups of flour. Then, of course, in order for me to um, change this denominator to one cup of flour, what do I have to do to this four? I have to divide that by four. If I have to divide by four in the denominator, I have to divide by four in the numerator. So here, you guys, what we're doing is we're dividing by four here, and we're dividing by four there. So this becomes, 4 divided by 4 is 1 cup of flour, right? And up here, if I write 3 divided by 4 as a fraction, 3 divided by 4, there's my 3 fourths cup. Is everybody clear with that? All right, very good. All right, so now uh, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to find a unit rate. So you can find, you, and you guys, again, you already wrote this definition. Um, you don't have to write it again unless you want unless you want to write down the example underneath your title. You can do that. So you can use what you know about unit rates to find unit price. The unit price is the cost per one unit. Okay. To write the price as a unit price, you're going to divide the numerator and the denominator of the rate by the denominator. So here. We have price, $36 for four tickets. Unit price means that we want to know how much is it going to cost for one ticket. Does everybody see that? Okay. So here we have $36 over four tickets. We're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by the denominator, which is four. And so that we end up $9 for one ticket. When you do unit price, the dollar amount always goes on the top. All right, so for example four, it says four potted plants cost $88. What is the unit price per plant? We want to write the rate first as a fraction and then compare the total cost to the number of plants um, and then divide. So here in this example, we're looking at um, four potted plants that cost $88. So when I write the rate, it's going to be $88 on the top and four plants on the bottom. And then once again, we want to know how much does it cost for one plant. So we're going to divide by four in the numerator and the denominator, and we end up with 22 in the numerator. So the um, unit price is $22 for one plant. So, because we didn't have a got it, this is a, the example that we did. We said, for Carolina's birthday, her mom took her and four friends to a water park. Carolina, um, Carolina's mom paid $40 for five student tickets. What was the price for one student ticket? Now, one of the questions that you guys asked was, well, uh, if she only took four friends, why is she paying for five tickets? Well, we're not going to leave Carolina at home, right? So we want to pay for five tickets. So here we have $40 for five tickets, and then when we change it to a unit rate, dividing the numerator and the denominator by five, we end up with $8 for one student ticket.